Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the JTW Tag Team Championship Tournament. This time it's the semi-final triple threat match. Now this match has some very distinctive rules, so let's take a look at the bracket and I will explain how it takes place. To bookend the first round of the tournament, El Giantonio and Malasalto defeated Jack Sykes and Danny McCarthy, advancing them into today's triple threat semi-final. So today it will be Bad B and JD Bailey versus Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe versus El Giantonio and Malasalto. Now let me explain the rules. Only one member of each team can represent in the triple threat match. So for example, Bad B and JD Bailey will have to pick who represents, so it could be Bad B going into the match. Now, here's where the rules get a little bit fuzzy. So it doesn't matter who wins this match, it only matters who loses. So, for example, if Joe Anthony pins Malasalto, Malasalto and El Giantonio are out of the tournament, and Bad B and JD Bailey and Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe advance. So whoever gets pinned is out the tournament, their team is out, and the remaining two teams go on to fight for the championships. Do you understand? I hope so. Without further ado, let's get right into the match. Well, I'm not going to lie to you all, this is very new territory for me. I am doing commentary in full ring gear. I can't say I've done this before. But anyway, uh, I was under the impression that I would be representing in this triple threat. But, you know, if Zach thinks he can represent and he can win, then go ahead. I have full faith. Also, JD Bailey representing the team of Bad B and JD. That leaves one team left in this triple threat match. El Giantonio and Malasalto. Which one of these luchadors will be representing? Now... Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter who wins this match, it only matters who loses. The losing team is out of the tournament. The winning team and the, you know, the person that doesn't get pinned is, uh, is going through to the final. And this match is underway and straight away, not good for me, uh, not good for my team. El Gentonio and JD Bailey attacking Zach Rowe, beating him down straight away. El Gentonio with a quick drop kick to JD Bailey. Yes! El Gentonio on top of me! I wouldn't be taunting too long. There comes JD Bailey with a clothesline taking El Giantonio down. A drop kick of his own. That's a receipt right there. JD Bailey standing tall out of everyone here. El Giantonio and Zach Rowe down. Now quickly, JD Bailey getting back on the attack. Irish whip to El Giantonio. And El Giantonio with a big clothesline of his own. Come on, Zach. Get back in this thing, man. Big punch to the head of El Giantonio. Come on, Zach. Zach's strikes are brutal. He's one of the hardest hitters in JTW and a beautiful forearm smash just giving you a perfect example there. Dropping El Giantonio straight down. And now JD Bailey and Zach Rowe going at each other. We've seen this match before, not that long ago actually, about four or five months ago in the Zach Rowe Open Challenge. Zach came out on top then. Hopefully the result will be the same tonight. Zach gaining control. Irish whip and a big clothesline knocks JD down. Now moving back to El Giantonio. That's it, Zach. Target the both of them. Get them both weakened. Beautiful headbutt. Now with a big body blows to the body of El Giantonio. Of course, they're to the body. They're called body blows. And now Zach front base lock. DDT connected to El Giantonio. Perfectly executed by the JTW Intercontinental Champion. That is what I'm talking about. JD Bailey getting back up to his feet, as is Zach. Zach with another front face lock and another DDT. Beautiful. That's the final result right there. That's what we're going to see at the end of this match. Zach Rowe, my tag team partner, on top. El Giantonio taking advantage. One, two. If he got a three there, that would mean El Giantonio and Zach Rowe would be going through to the finals. El Giantonio. Asking Zach Rowe, saying, you've just DDT'd me. And now Zach with a big chop. El Giantonio, I believe, thought maybe Zach was helping him out. But no, this is every man for himself. Now JD Bailey's back up and a big chop to Zach Rowe. And another. And another. That's three chops. El Giantonio on the other side. JD Bailey maybe looking to Irish whip Zach into him. Giantonio moves out of the way. Instead, oh, and a big drop kick by JD. And now El Giantonio making the cover. One. What? Why is JD breaking up the cover? 
What are you doing, man? It doesn't matter who wins. I can only presume that it's arrogance and cockiness that's making JD Bailey want to do that. But now he's got El Jantonio maybe looking to double team with Zach. Zach kick to the gut, body punch, moving him out of the way, and a big head punch to JD Bailey. That's how you do it. These two trading blows again. Another forearm, and there's a forearm by JD. The only reason I can think of that JD Bailey broke up the pinfall was that maybe oh double clothesline. Maybe he uh, he wanted to be the one that actually is the one that's standing tall at the end. He wants all the glory for himself. El Jantonio trying to take advantage. Both of them kicking out at two. You're not gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to do a lot more than that, El Jantonio, to put Zach and JD away. Both of them former JTW champions. Zach current JTW Intercontinental champion, and El Jantonio targeting Zach Rowe now. Pounding away, striking him while he's down, picking him back up to the feet. Now maybe El Jantonio giving him a receipt. Ole and a big DDT spiking Zach. Jesus Christ. Cover him. One. No. JD Bailey breaking it up again. That's the only reason I can think of, ladies and gentlemen. JD Bailey wants to be the one that beats him. He wants to be the one standing tall all by himself. He wants to be the one that makes the pinfall. And Anaconda Vice locked into El Jantonio. And Zach breaking it up. What are you doing, man? There's no reason for that. Maybe Zach Rowan, myself, maybe Zach wants to face El Jantonio Malasalto in the finals, doing whatever he takes to make sure that JD and Bad B don't win. And a beautiful sit out powerbomb by Zach. Cover. One, two, and JD kicks out. Damn it. Obviously, it is on the record that Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe have lost to Bad B and JD Bailey before. Maybe Zach Rowe wants to face El Jantonio Malasalto in the finals, doing what he can to. Make sure that JD and Bad B don't go in too. And oh, beautiful leg drop by El Jantonio. JD rolls him into a schoolboy. No, kick out at two. Zach Rowe may be looking to go for El Jantonio once again. And he is. Beautiful Superman punch. Cover him. One. No, JD kicks out. Uh, my bad. JD breaks it up. That's definitely it. He definitely wants all the glory for himself. There's no reason for him to be breaking up the pinfall here, ladies and gentlemen. But Zach going to be taking advantage once again. Setting up here. I don't know what he's setting up for. Maybe a big move. Picking El Jantonio up and just sitting him back down onto the corner post. He's got JD on one corner post standing up. El Jantonio on another sitting down. Kick to the gut. Big punch to the head. What's he thinking now? Maybe looking to Irish whip him? No. Zach with a drop kick connected to El Jantonio. JD's still standing there and a big clothesline. Trying to take out both of them at once. Kill two birds with one stone. I like your thinking, Zach. Cover one. No. El J and uh, JD Bailey kicks out. Zach, they're both lined up. I know what you're thinking here. Do it. Zach Rowe taunting away. He's got them set up. Double leg drop. Beautiful. Beautiful double leg drop connected by my tag team partner. That is how you win titles here in ladies and gentlemen. By taking advantage, killing two birds with one stone, just like that. Picking up JD Bailey once again, bouncing him off the post, and a beautiful Superman punch drops J JD Bailey down. He flopped like a fish. That's why. That's why. Oh no, Zach, look out! Schoolboy, one, two! Oh my god, El Jantonio nearly had him there. That's how El Jantonio beat Danny McCarthy and Jack Sykes, both of them on roll-ups. He nearly had the Intercontinental Champion, but not quite. Now El Jantonio with a big body punch. Now roundhouse kicks connected to Zach. One to the body, one to the leg, and a beautiful axe kick to the back of the head, dropping the Intercontinental Champion down. JD Bailey looking to get back up to his feet, and now he does. Single leg takedown to El Jantonio, and maybe just unleashing a fury all over him big punches now the anaconda vice locked in for a second time on el jantonio and once again zachro appears to be showing mercy breaking up the submission hold i don't know why to be fair though if it was zach and joe versus el jantonio malasalto we could beat them easy i'm sure of it no jd bailey waist lock picking him up ripcord and a beautiful rainmaker by jd bailey come on zach that can't be it man that can't be it no jd bailey not done there what's he thinking here no no Kamigoye connected to Zach Rowe. El Jantonio's got him there. Diving eagle headbutt. Bang! Connected to Zach Rowe. JD Bailey making the cover. One. El Jantonio, two, three. Oh no. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Rowe and myself are out of the tournament. Damn it.
But JD Bailey, no, rip corner. Rainmaker attacking El Jansonio. JD Bailey obviously not very happy. He wanted that win for himself. But either way, ladies and gents, it's El Jantonio and Malasalto taking on Bad B and JD Bailey in the finals. We will see you next time. Damn it, we're out.